Pulse Nightclub, Orlando, Florida, 50 lost, 53 injured. Virginia Tech, 32 lost, 17 injured. Navy Yard, 12 lost, 3 injured. Inland Regional Center, San Bernardino, California, 14 lives lost, 22 injured. Aurora, Colorado, 12 lost, 58 injured. Sandy Hook, 27 lost, 1 injured. Hello, I'm Lynn Goldman. I'm the Michael and Lori Milken Dean of the Milken Institute School of Public Health. Like so many of you, uh, we woke up Sunday morning to learn about the horrible tragedy that had unfolded in Orlando, where a mass shooting incident occurred. It's an act that we could barely comprehend at the time, and I'm still having trouble um, wrapping my mind around at one point in time had some hopes in this country of being able to ban the sale of assault weapons to people. We had a law that was actually on the books federally between 1994 and unfortunately sunsetted in 2004 that wouldn't have allowed private citizens to walk in and buy assault weapons off the shelf. So I, I don't see any real utility for those and unfortunately they have all too often been used by people who have the intention of carrying out these kinds of random and senseless acts of violence. Why is this a public health issue, one might say. Well, we in public health want to provide an environment where people will be safe, where people do not need to fear for their lives through being either directly exposed to this kind of an incident or indirectly harmed because of losing friends, losing family members. Uh, my daughter worries now about going into crowded movie theaters. We have training in our universities about what to do in the case of a mass shooter incident. All of this is fear-inducing, it's stress-inducing, and it means that each and every one of us does not have the right to feel secure and safe when we're in places that we go to have fun, to worship, to study, uh, to just be with our friends. Today, especially my heart goes out to those who have lost their family members, their friends are remembering the, the times that they had with those individuals who have so unfairly been ripped from us. I don't know what to say uh, to them. There, if, if, it were, if it were my daughter, if it were my friend, I would be in shock. There would be no way I could comprehend this. But I think that it is very important that we all come together to support each other, to take any steps that we can take to be safe, and whether it's in our homes, whether it's in our schools, whether it's in our communities, but then to also think about what can we do to make this situation safer for all. I do happen to think assault weapons ban is one step that we can take, but there are probably many other things that can be considered it's ways to prevent this kind of episode from ever happening again in the future. Love is advocating for and working towards equitable policy that provides the same level of protections and rights to all persons. Love is um, working hard to get a degree so that I can help change the world to make it a safer place where people can get the health care they need so that they aren't in pain and they aren't suffering. Love is adequate mental health care for those who need it. Love is life and life is good. Love is protecting others and especially those who are most vulnerable.